15.27 says the following equilibria were obtained, and then we have two given equations. And then we have a third equation right here that's based on these two. And you can see that if you take these two equations and you manipulate them, then you could end up with this equation. As a matter of fact, let's show how that's done by writing the first equation down here, COO plus H2, an arrow, and then we get CO, and we get H2O. In its K is 67. And then let's take the second equation and let's flip it around because we gotta get CO on the right-hand side over here. And so if we reverse this reaction, we have a CO on this side and a CO2 on this side. And then we have an arrow, and then we have a COO and a CO over here. And this K now, since we reverse the reaction, would be the inverse of the K. So that would be 1 over 490. And then if we add these two reactions together, you'll see that the COOs cancel and the um, co cobalts cancel, the COs as well. And so they end up with CO2 and H2 together. Notice how that's exactly the same as what we have right here. And then we end up with CO and we end up with H2O. And so by adding these two reactions together, first we manipulated this one, and then we added those two reactions together, we get this one. And when you add two reactions together to find the K for the new reaction, we'll take the two Ks and we'll multiply them together. And so it'll be 67 times 490, because whatever mathematical uh, application you do, you always do the one that's a little bit more powerful, and in this case it's multiplication. You could also write the K expressions for these, and you'd find out when you add these two together, you end up multiplying those pieces together. And so when you do this uh, on your calculator, you end up getting uh, 0.14 for the new K. That's 27.